Okay, so previously we looked at variables and storing information inside of them. Now we're going to look at what kind and what different types of information we can store inside of our variables. So as we looked at before, we stored the name James inside of the variable called name. Uh, this is known as a string. It is a string of characters uh, held together by our speech marks at either end. So I'm just going to work through and create some variables based on what information they're holding. So as I said, we have string um, and this holds a string of characters such as the five letters J, A, M, E, S and it holds, holds them together as one word. So that's our string, this is, this is what a string is. I'm going to call our variables based on what type of information they are. So the next one we're going to look at um, is actually two different types of the same type of information. So bear with me a second. When we're dealing with numbers inside of any sort of programming language, we have two different ways to represent numbers. The first way is representing a whole number. So a whole number is a number such as 1, 100, 1000, or even 103, 103, 56, 42. Okay? So these are all whole numbers. You can store any of them. So I'm going to call it integer. That's about right, yeah. And I'm just going to store 46. Enter. The next type of number we can store, which you might have already guessed, is a decimal point number. So that's anything like 34.5, 13.2, all the way to sort of 3.67543. Okay? So I'm just going to store a float, and what you'll notice here is floats turn purple. Again, we've come across another one of Python's built-in words that it knows. So I can't call my float uh, variable float. I'm going to have to call it something else. So I'm just going to type num at the end with a capital N just so I uh, get around that little problem we had, and I know what it is. It's a float number. So again, I'm going to store 23.56. Enter. And lastly, we're going to look at a variable type boolean. So B the low L E N. And this can only store one or the other type of information, and that is true or false. So it can only store true, or it can only store uh, store false. And you'll notice that these have turned orange when I type them. If they haven't turned orange, chances are you've spelt it with a lowercase T in which case go back to it and just change it to an uppercase and hit enter. So boolean, a little bit more information on that, it works in a similar sense that binary works. So binary is a series of ones and zeros, one being on, zero being off. Okay, boolean works in a similar way, true being well, true and false being false, we have one or the other. So what I can do from here is I can print these out. So if I print string, okay, we don't have to type our quotes in because that's already typed in for us uh, when we created our variable up here. Hit enter, we get James. If I print integer, we get our integer, what's stored in our integer variable. Okay, you can see what's going to happen here with float num. Let's go print the, the uh, floating number that's stored inside float num uh, with our decimal point as well. And again, if we print our boolean, we get true. So these are the different types of variables. It is important to understand why we would use different types of variables. So if I was to print out two uh, of our variables in the same print function, uh, we will come across an error. And I'm going to execute this error. I'm going to force it to happen by printing out string and integer together. So if I enter, we can see our error here. It says type error. It cannot convert int because um, in programming we kind of like to use some uh, abbreviations. So int is short for integer and str is short for string. So what Python is saying here is it cannot convert the inter, uh, integer object into a string. So, what we have to do is print James 
not James, sorry, we're going to print string and we're going to add our integer into it. But what we need to do is we need to tell it to convert to int, uh, convert to a string, sorry. So what we're going to say is str, I'm going to open a bracket and we're going to type our variable name that we want to convert to a string, close the bracket, and then we're going to close the second bracket here for our first bracket at the beginning. So now it's going to print James 46 because what it's done is it's seen that that's a string so we said oh, okay I'm printing a string whatever's added next to is going to have to be a string as well so we have to convert it to a string okay so the same can be done print again string plus float num okay I'm just going to copy this so I can type it again again cannot convert float object to a string object so I've paste that back in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to be a string so we type str open bracket close bracket we put our variable inside hit enter and we get James 23.56 so let's try it with our boolean so I'm going to paste that again I'm going to get rid of float num I'm going to type boolean I'm going to hit enter and again, it cannot convert a bool object, which again is short for boolean, to a string. I'm going to paste that again. I'm going to type str, open brackets, delete this. So I'll work through it as we would normally type a string, actually. I'll start from the beginning. So print, open close brackets, James, not James, string, add. And here we're going to add our boolean into the print method, uh, the print function. So we obviously need to convert it to a string so we type str open the bracket type our variable and close our bracket and hit enter and it will print james true 